This is a demo covering a new uh, new ish feature of System D uh, called Network D. Network D is a, a network configuration uh, daemon for System D. Um, if you're familiar with network configuration, the the old way of doing it was a was a uh, network service script, and that is still what is used in uh, cloud deployments and kind of smaller things. Um, and that's okay, but it's a it's a one shot thing. It doesn't maintain any state about the configuration of your adapters. The other end of the spectrum is Network Manager, which is much larger and has really uh, kind of feature crept everywhere and is kind of large and unruly now. And so um, the system D people wanted to create a lightweight way to do network configuration that was better than the uh, that maintained state, better than the network script, but didn't wasn't as big and cumbersome as network manager. So this demo is going to show up how to convert from network manager to system D network D. Um, so first you can see I've got uh, just a normal setup here with my Ethernet adapter and uh, a static IP address configured. If we go into sysconfig network scripts config and look at uh, yeah, I've config script. You can see that I've <clears throat> configured it for a static IP address. Gateway DNS are all manually specified. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert this to a network D configuration. Um, this is I started from a just uh, basic a Fedora minimal install plus the standard packages, and so um, something that is running that I don't want to be running because I don't know I don't like it is firewall D. So, um, so it, this is a Fedora 22 image and in Fedora 22, they switched from yum to DNF. When you do a DNF remove, it does what yum auto remove used to do uh, by default. And so if you do, if I remove firewall D, you can see that it's removing firewall D and any packages that were installed as a result, uh, as dependencies of firewall D, they don't have, have any, any other dependencies on installed packages. So, yes. Okay, so now I'm going to go into the uh, Etsy system D directory and create a new directory called network. And then go into that directory. Then I'm going to create a file called um, with the same name as my ethernet adapter just the, the name of this file doesn't really matter uh, as long as it ends in dot network um, and you can uh, as you can see you can create network files that match multiple devices using wildcards and things like that so uh, we're just going to do emp 0 s 23 i mean 25.network um, the first thing we need to do is write a match stanza, and this um, basically tells uh, Network D you know, which network adapters to apply the these rules to. So we're doing ENP. What was it? Zero S twenty five. And then after that, we're going to have a, a network. Sansa with address equals, and this, I'm just co copying this information from my network config script that uh, network manager and the network script use. Um, address gateway DNS server. Okay. And then uh, I have domains, but I'm not going to type them in here for this demo. So uh, we save that off. So what we're going to want to do is uh, disable network manager. And then we're going to want to enable system D network D. All right. So this will take effect on the next reboot. Um, so 
right now what I'm going to do is you can just take network D down or sorry, uh, network manager down and then bring uh, network D up. Um, but I'm just going to reboot to uh, ensure that uh, the enabled states of the services are set properly. Um, so. came back up if we look uh, the, the from a network configuration standpoint it looks the same but if I uh, look for network manager it's nowhere to be found uh, but if I look at network D it's it's running and also there's a front end to network D called network control like most system D daemons there's you know system D system control network D network control um, and you can hit that and it will show you that um, your Ethernet adapter is being configured by Network D and that it's routable. And so that just means that it can, uh, I think that means that it can reach its gateway. So, um, so if we ping Google, there we go. So uh, that is a way to do lightweight network configuration on like headless servers and stuff like that. If you want to move away from network manager, which is kind of large and bulky and cumbersome and the configuration files are hard to deal with. As you can see, the configuration files for network manager are quite a bit simpler. Oh, sorry, for network D, you're quite a bit simpler.